guys so we're back with another video for you guys and today we have one of your favorite videos a favorites video so today we're going to be doing our february faves we don't have too many things to mention but we have a nice variety of things for you guys mostly beauty products which is kind of rare for us because you guys know we dabble all around as far as products but today is mostly beauty based so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it so first we're going to go ahead and start with hair because we don't have too many things so the first thing that I'm going to mention is this curling iron that I've been obsessed with. So this is from the brand T3 and I have been wanting a new curling iron for the longest time, like a clamp curling iron, because I still have like the same wand um, curling iron that I like to use when I do wand curls. It has like four different sizes, but I needed a new like actual clamp curling iron because I have been using Kendra's Conair for so long and that thing has lasted forever. She's indestructible. She really is. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like about it is my hair always gets caught Snag. on the... Yeah, it gets snagged on like the screws on the side, mm -hmm. which is what I love about this one because the screws are flat. So my hair does not snag on it. And I got this from Ulta. It wasn't cheap, but it was a really good investment. This glides down your hair so smooth. It makes curling your hair so easy and just seamless and smooth. It makes your hair shinier when you're done. This thing is amazing. This is ceramic. And I also like that it has like a covered part at the tip so you can hold it if you need to and not burn yourself. The only thing I don't like is like the settings. It has like five different dots that like when you want to like put whatever setting that it's on. I wish it had a number so I can know exactly the temperature. But other than that, I really, really like it a lot. So it's really easy to use. You just like twist the bottom um, depending on like how hot you want it. And like I and said, it's on your hair type too, right? And your hair type. Um, and it has five different settings. And um, I just put it all the way up to the, the top one because I feel like if it's lower, it's going to take me longer to curl my hair. Mm -hmm. So um, it just... It goes faster if I just put it all the way up. So I really like this. Like I said, I did get mine from Ulta. I'm not sure where else they carry the T3 brand. Sephora. Oh, they have this Sephora? Yeah, that's what I saw it on. I thought you got it from there. No, I got it in store at Ulta because I wanted to oh, see the sizes because okay. they had different sizes. So this sense. is the one and one third inch barrel. Okay. Because they had one that was a little bit skinnier than this. And, and I, I know like, they have one that's really big like that one. They didn't have that one in store. Oh. So this is the middle one. Um, And they had one that was a little bit smaller than this. And I preferred this size because it was like perfect if I wanted to do fat curls or smaller curls. Um, and you used this when we were in LA. I'm obsessed. It's like so I thought I would cool. never use another curling iron because my Conair, like I said, is unbreakable. Like she will not die. Yeah. But when I use Kelsey's, when you say like it glides through yes. the hair so easily, so it's like effortless. If you already know how to use a clamp curling iron, this will just curl it for you because it's so, so easy. Yeah, super and cool. I curled my hair in less than five minutes. So fast. Even though the kind of curls I was doing it was like quick curls. It was quick curls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but when we were in LA, my curls lasted like the whole event we were there. Mm -hmm. they and they didn't fall not once. Yeah, that's a good test. They look fresh, but, but by the end of the day. Yeah, they still look good, nice and intact. Mm -hmm. That's another good test because I've used curling irons in the past where I curl my hair and like an hour later they fall. No matter what kind of hairspray you use, mm -hmm. it all depends on the actual tool you're And I didn't using. use hair, hairspray. You I don't use hairspray. I do. No but, hairspray. But no hairspray is going to do its job if your tool is not right. So That's you right. have to have the right tool. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this thing. I highly recommend investing in it if you've been looking for a new good curling iron. I'm obsessed with this thing. Okay, so my only hair product is a hair oil and I discovered this while I was on Instagram and all the hair like reels that are coming up all the time, I'm always like sucked in and I saw this hair oil that I saw someone use and her hair looks so healthy and beautiful and I'm like, Kendra, you already have healthy, beautiful hair. <laughs> But I always like to try new hair oils because sometimes it's really hard to get a nice like finishing hair oil or finishing serum without it being too greasy, without it weighing your hair down. Like it's just really hard unless you use like a tiny bit. Yeah. This, it doesn't matter how much you use, like it gives my hair like the perfect sheen. It's super soft. It does a really good job at like sealing my ends, making sure my ends are nice and healthy. But the best part about it is the consistency. It's literally, it's as you can watery. see, like water, but it does an amazing job at like, like I said, keeping my hair shiny. It doesn't feel greasy, but it's so soft. Like when I brush my hair the next day, cause I put it in at night on my ends. It's a game changer for me from when I wear my hair straight. So this is my go-to straight hair oil because like I said, some oils can leave my hair oily faster. Even if I use like a small amount. Yeah, most of them are a little more tacky. That's why. Yeah. Tacky. And this is super watery. Did I even say the name of it? I'm so sorry, y'all. No. It's, it's from Fakai. That's the brand. And this is their super strength, ever strong oil. 
and this is triple action bonding and repair so this has like moringa oil in it i think it has argan oil also it's super super practical it's good for every day i know some people can't put oil in their hair every day but if you haven't had the best of luck with oils or serums give this one a try hmm. and like this bottle is tiny but you only need like one pump honestly. yeah i used half a pump and it was enough for my ends yes it's very very light it's so so lightweight like it doesn't feel sticky afterwards yeah not it at smells all. good it has like a nice sweet smell it's really really good so i got this from ulta highly recommend if you can't find the kai products Ulta always has them. I've seen them at Target sometimes, but for sure this oil, you can find it at Ulta. I'm obsessed. Okay, so the next product is something that we both have here, and it's something that we've both been obsessed with. Yes. Um, if you guys don't follow us on our vlog channel, then this is going to be your first time hearing about this. This is from Hourglass. This is a, I really don't know what to consider this, because they call it like a lip oil, oil balm. So Hourglass considers this a glossy balm. So it's mm -hmm. literally called Volumizing Glossy Balm. So I feel like this is low key like a lip tint, a lip gloss, mm -hmm. and a balm. It's like everything you need And a lip oil to me, even though it doesn't say lip oil, it gives me a lip oil feel. I get what you're saying. Because balm to me is literally like a chapstick. Balm? Like chapstick. When gotcha. I think a lip balm, I think a chapstick. Chapstick. Okay, gotcha. So I guess we would consider this a lip gloss slash oil yeah. slash lip tint. Yes. So this is perfect if you're the girl that likes to wear like a soft everyday makeup look or if you don't like to wear makeup at all. I feel like this is perfect because it's everything you need in one. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have a ton of lip things in your purse. Yes. This is just the one product you'll need. And if you're a lip liner girl and you don't really like lipsticks or mm -hmm. liquid lipstick, this is perfect. Those haven't worked for you. Mm -hmm. Lip liner and just this. Perfect. That's all I'm wearing today, actually. I have on my Makeup by Mario <laughs> lip pencil in the color Chris. It's like a cinnamony rose color. And this. That's it. So you're right. It's perfect for the girl who it's just so like good. liner mm -hmm. and not lipstick or like liquid lipstick or anything mm -hmm. or lip glosses. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. And it also gives your lips like this cooling feeling. It feels like it has peppermint oil yeah, or something, something in it. Yeah, something menthol-y. But it's not too like intense. It's just like it's a not, nice like cooling feeling. It's not Carmex. No. If you know what I mean. Because Kermit sometimes can be a little intense. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this gives your lips like the perfect light. And it doesn't sting like a lip plumper. Yes. It does. Well, I can't use lip plumpers because I have very sensitive lips. I, sometimes I get cold sores, so I can't use their lip products. Mm -hmm. So this is also great if you have sensitive lips as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I just like that it's great for like aesthetic purposes, but it also feels nourishing, nourishing. on the lips. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so good. Because some people like they're like aquaphors and stuff like that and mm -hmm. then they'll like to put like a color or a tint like you said over it yeah but this all around is so so good like my lips felt nourished when i put this on in the car up the other day and i looked in my like rearview mirror and i looked up and i said oh this is getting color <laughs> yeah and the color isn't too intense to the point where you're like okay this, this looks is too crazy much. without makeup yeah because mm -hmm. if you want to wear this with no makeup it still looks super natural it's really so pretty, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And like Kelsey said, it's so comfortable on the lips. Feels yes. super moisturizing. And the color that we have is the color Haze 135. Yes. So, so and far, I got a backup already. You already did. I should have thought. You know, she told me how good like the it's texture so was. Nice. Cause I'm worried about texture with lip products. Same. And yeah. smell. Cause like your lips are right next to your nose. This is so beautiful. It goes on so smooth, so seamless. So I want to get more colors. There's another color in rose I want to get. Um, they have a ton of colors, I feel like, for a lot of different skin tones yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend giving these a try. You're going to love them. And if you already use these, let me know what color is your favorite that you like to use because I'm obsessed. So next, I have another lip product to mention. And I also got this the same time I bought the Haze Glossy Balm from Hourglass. And I was just looking for, like, new lip products. I actually found this through Pinterest. A girl used it in her like everyday lip routine and every time I see like a gloss this color it just takes me back to like my childhood and been in the wow. beauty supply store and Kendra was actually more of a gloss girl when we were growing up I just used to use chapstick because like I said I had very sensitive lips this just made me feel a problem yeah you had a problem with lip I would gloss. apply it like every 30 minutes <laughs> just it was I like, a, like it. it was a reflex it was a reflex you would be like I'd be talking to you and she'd just be like mm-hmm mm -hmm. and then just put on lip gloss that was yeah. yeah, but I was the girl. I just reapply like every period. Every That's two true. periods at school. at school, I would just reapply every two periods. Kendra is like the every, like she said, 30 minute girl. Mm -hmm. But this is like the perfect gloss that you don't have to reapply as often. This is from the brand Tower 28. But this is in the color XOXO. It's like this pretty like raspberry red color. 
It's so pretty, it's so juicy. And I love the consistency of these jelly glosses because they're not sticky. I cannot mm -hmm. stand a sticky gloss. And I also don't like a gloss that's too thin because then it feels like chicken grease, like you just got done eating oh, like yeah. churches or something. Like canola oil. I don't like that, yeah, because then after like 10 minutes it's gone. Mm -hmm. This is like the perfect balance. Like it's really thin, but it lasts. It's like a jelly. But like a silky, silky jelly. Silky jelly. I know yeah. that sounds weird, but it that's does. how I was right. Yeah. I don't have this on right now, by the way. I just added, just, you know, for the purpose of describing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very thin. Mm -hmm. It's not uncomfortable. It's very comfortable on the lips. Very moisturizing as well. So mm -hmm. I love the consistency of this gloss. This is also another good product to use without makeup. Especially because summer's coming up. We don't really like to wear makeup a lot during the summertime. So this is perfect. If you're the gloss girl, you just like to throw on some mascara, fill in your brows and throw on a lip product. Mm -hmm. This is perfect for that as well. And I also like it with this. Um, and then I think also it looks really pretty by itself because I have used it by itself a few times as well. So I need to stock up on these. It doesn't really have that much of a smell. Very light, very faint. Very soft, kind of like a light vanilla cakey smell. Like if you remember, um, I don't know if you guys remember Limited 2, if you went to Limited 2 as a child oh. growing up. Kind of reminds me of like those glosses. how those smelled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how those smelled. But those used to have way too many like glitters in them and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't have any kind of like glitters in them or anything. It's very like, like jelly. It honestly looks like jam, like raspberry jam that you would put on a piece of toast. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like that. So if you've tried any of the Tower 28 glosses, also let me know what other colors you like because so far XOXO is my favorite color. Okay, so the next product is pretty much perfume for the remainder of this video, at least, yeah, on both of our sides. And I have been testing out these perfumes for like the past like month and a half, I want to say. And I've been hooked. And every time I spray this particular one that I'm about to talk about, Kelsey will always compliment it. And that's, oh, yeah. you're like the perfect guinea pig for me when I'm trying perfume to see. Yeah. Even though I don't really need like compliments to keep wearing a perfume, but I can tell when something is going to be like, a timeless kind of everyday perfume that I want to smell all the time because I like gourmands. I like to smell intense, like very deep and sweet. And this is something that's more universal because Kelsey likes more of a fruity, I do, like juicy, fresh kind of a smell. Yes. And this perfume, when I first smelled it, when I got it from Sephora, I knew I was going to love it. I read the notes and I immediately knew I'm going to love it because I saw a sparkling pear, I saw like woods. And what's the other note? Hold on. This is a fruity floral and it has sparkling pear, luscious rose, and blonde wood. So it's kind of like a combination of both things that we like. I love rose, Kelsey loves pear, mm -hmm. and we both love woody scents. Mm -hmm. So it was like the perfect combination. I'm for sure going to get a backup bottle of this um, for like the Sephora sale that's for the spring one because this legit smells like the perfect spring, spring. perfume. Yeah, it does. It's clean, but it's also very fruity. If you guys are into fresh fruits, <laughs> like that, like category of fragrance, mm, it's so you're good. going to be obsessed. It smells like a breath of fresh air. So nice. It smells sexy at the same time. The dry down gives you more of that woody base. I smell the pear, but the pear is the most so prominent good. note. Wait, let me add this. I don't really part. smell a whole lot of rose. It smells like pear florals. Gotcha. But it has really good projection if you spray enough. This is not a two, three spray kind of perfume. You need to spray more like five to 10 sprays because it's a light scent. It's just the kind of perfume that it is. Um, but as you can see, I put a pretty big dent in it and I will continue to repurchase this just because it smells like something I would think is a timeless kind of smell. Like you would still think this smells good in 10 years. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, I would still like it. It's not like a trendy smell or something that's just in now. Because mm -hmm. I know like a specific scent is in right now. Like that Baccarat Rouge kind of smell. Like people like that. And yeah, that, smells, of that smells good. Mm -hmm. But I think this is something that people will continue to like years to come. Mm -hmm. If I didn't say the name already, it's Givenchy Irresistible. This is, I think, my third Givenchy perfume. I have two already. And this one is my newest Givenchy to my collection. And this is the freshest Givenchy perfume I have. But highly recommend every time I spray it, Kelsey tells me I smell good. And it's the perfect like casual everyday girly smell. Okay, so my first fragrance is one of my new obsessions. I have to get the full size of this. This is the travel size. There's actually nothing in here because I have a story for y'all. If you want to get the travel size of this, before I say the name, Keep in mind that this is not good travel size packaging because this screws off really easily mm -hmm. and it'll leak all over your purse, bag, whatever you have it. So it's really annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the full size of this. 
Um, I wish they had better packaging for their travel size. But this is by the brand Fleur. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And this is in the scent Somebody Would. So Somebody Would is like the perfect like dupe for By the Fireplace. And if you've ever bought By the Fireplace the full size, it's very expensive. They're not cheap. None of their perfumes are cheap, by the way. But every time I like have to repurchase By the Fireplace, I'm like, dang, I be forgetting how much, how expensive this is because it always lasts me so long because it's a very strong scent. But I'm glad I found this because it pretty much smells the same to me. This is just a little bit sweeter in my opinion, it but it's just this like really warm embrace of a smell. It smells very warm very sexy very cozy as well so the notes for this are sandalwood amber and musk and this is considered warm woods like i said it feels like a warm hug so very that's woody. very very accurate so this is in the fragrance family of earthy and woody which i love a good earthy scent you guys know I'm more of like earth smells but not grassy earthy more like woody earthy it is a darker scent so if you like light airy scents you probably won't like this it's more deep it's a lot more deep of a scent it's really really nice to go to dinner in um like it has great projection mm -hmm. tia mori told me i smelled really good so i'm pretty sure she was smelling this because this is what i was wearing when i met her i said i'm gonna get the full size because now my entire purse smell like this i mean not a bad thing but it got like all over everything in my purse because this packaging sucks so they need to do something about their travel size packaging make sure it's more secure because it will leak all over your stuff so be careful with the travel size but other than that it's an amazing scent yeah so pretty excellent if you love warm dark scents okay so my last and final scent is something that you guys would have probably already saw if you watched my sexy date night fragrances video that i did on our channel recently and i mentioned this that it will be the perfect daytime date perfume this is on a date by replica this is i think one of their newest scents they mm -hmm. just came out with this one as soon as i smelled the candle that kelsey bought in this scent i was already like okay where can i go to the nearest sephora and buy the actual perfume like i need it right away i bought the travel size and i wore it throughout the day and i was like i need this in the full bottle so i went ahead and bought it and i have no regrets it's so so good it honestly smells like a french summer it yeah. smells like you're spending like your summer in France, like the countryside. You're going to wineries every week. And like, it smells like white wine and roses to me. And on here it says the fragrance description is grapes and roses. For the longest time I kept saying it smelled boozy and it does have black currant liquor accord in it. And I was getting like a boozy like note in there. It's not just a regular kind of fruity, like floral smell. It has something else and it was the liquor accord really special not your typical floral scent this also has rose in it like i said but it also has patchouli so if you guys are into florals this is described as warm florals i would still describe it as fruity florals because for sure i smell the grape in this so if you're not a fan of like grape smells i feel like it's not even really a common fruit it's not that's in perfumes mm -hmm. like you see a lot of other fruits like all the time but i hardly ever see grapes mm -hmm. so i think that's a really unique note to me at least so if you guys are looking for a new daytime scent that's super feminine and like fresh but still unique highly recommend the only thing i will say this doesn't really have that great of lasting power so i highly recommend spraying more on it is lighter it's lighter or just make sure you have just the travel size in your purse to like reapply which i do anyway so that's the only downside i wish this lasted longer because it is like a lighter scent but it's so so addicting and good like every time i smell it i want more so it's that good highly recommend on a date if you're looking for a new spring or summer perfume coming up so my last scent kendra put me onto this this is another obsession of mine and i think this is going to become one of my signature scents i have a few some i've shared some i have i have not this is burberry brit this is amazing every time kendra would have this on i'd be like something smells yummy very unique as well like you won't look at the bottle and think that it smells the way it does mm -hmm. to me when i look at the bottle i think it's going to smell like fresh and clean and like sophisticated and not really like sexy and like sweeter sweet yeah mm -hmm. yeah i wasn't expecting this to smell sweet like when you showed me the bottle of what you smelled like it mm -hmm. didn't match right i was like you got this this you was like yeah i was like oh okay this it has like a very like sugary pear smell mm -hmm. um so this is definitely like a good like fruity scent like if you like fruity scents if you like warm fruity scents you will also like this 
I feel like this is going to be a good transitional scent coming from winter into spring. Because mm -hmm. it's like a good winter fruity. Which yeah. Which is what I was wearing a lot during the winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you want fruity, if you don't want too much gourmand. Yeah, exactly. In the cold month. It's a nice balance, I feel. This is a well-balanced scent. Some scents can tend to have too much of one thing. Mm -hmm. And I like my scents to have a little bit of everything in them, if that makes sense. So this is in the floral family. Um, but the scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. And the keynotes for this are icy pear, interesting, sugared almond, and vanilla. So, like I said, it's just, I don't know. It, it sounds, sounds like an it girl to me. Yeah. Kendra like, said she thinks it smells like Gretchen Wieners from Mean Girls. It smells like Gretchen. And, I think and the bottle looks like her. I was going to say she wore Burberry a lot on, in the movie. So, I thought that was interesting that you said it smells like her. It's Gretchen in a bottle. So, that's actually very accurate. I get why you would think she smells like this. I wonder what Regina would smell like. Probably anything pink. We, we play this game all the time. So if you love pear scents like me, I'm a pear girl, you would love this. This will also be a really good date night scent. Or if you just want to go like out to dinner with your friends, this is a really good dinner scent to me as well. Mm -hmm. Not sitting outside though, if you sit inside. Because it's getting warmer out and it uh, is sweet. Okay. So it will attract, you know, some mosquitoes. So be careful with that. Because it does have vanilla in this. And vanilla can tend to dry down very sugary. So just be careful with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Love, love, love this perfume. Thank you, Kendra. Another staple of mine. Okay, guys. So that wraps up this favorites video. Let us know in the comments what were some of your favorites in the month of February. We will have every product linked in the description box if you're interested in anything we talked about today. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.